Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In previous video, I have shown you how to design this login interface of pharmacy management system. So if you have not watched my previous video, then just go to the description there. I put the link for my previous video or you can simply do one thing. Just click on the suggestion on the right side of the screen. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to design the administrator module. So let me start with that. Let me just show you that quickly. This is a complete project. That's why it is going to be actually opened. So you can see this in this video, I'm going to show you how to design these stuff and how to add all of these images and icon and this is looking nice so let's start with that so first i'm closing this application and moving back to the project on which we are working we are working on pharmacy management video and here we go so we have already added one form over here so first thing what we have to do is we have to set the size for this form so right click and go to properties and let me just first remove the border for this form so move back over here and search for form border style just click on this and select none and here you can see this now the form border has been removed after this what i have to do is i have to change the back color to custom and white and let me copy the size from this one so let me copy the size the size is 1380 comma 768 so move back over here right click and go to properties and paste the size hit enter now the form is enlarged after this what we have to do is you have observed in that form that we have a separate color on the left side so for that we have to add one panel over here and before adding one panel let me just tell you one thing that what i want is when this load it needs to be loaded in the center of the screen for that just click on this select the start position just click on this and select center screen after this what we have to do is we have to add one panel so search for panel just drag and drop one panel over here like this and let me copy the size this one from the complete project so this one is complete project so just click on this let me maximize this and the size for this one is 275 comma 730 so just copy this move back over here and set the size and let me set the color for this one so back color is 64 comma 64 comma 64 and hit enter after this let me just set the coordinates for this one so location is 0 comma 0 it means that x is 0 and y is 0 as well so here you can see this now this is on the proper position after this what we have to do is we have to add one more panel in this side of the same size of this empty space so let me do that move back over here and let me select the panel 2 so let me just select the panel 2 okay so we have to actually move these all one by one to actually fetch the last panel so this is the panel over here and let me copy the size for this one is 1089 comma 729 and i'm going to undo each of the stuff what i have did over here so ctrl z for everything yeah everything is on the proper position so move back over here and here what we have to do is i have to add one panel and I've already copied the size for this panel so just let me put the size and hit enter after this what we have to do is we have to adjust this on the proper position like this with the help of keyboard you can actually put this like this you have to adjust this little bit okay so what i have to do is i have to just adjust this one a little bit more precisely like this with the help of keyboard you can adjust this okay this one is looking better now and this is on the proper position and it's the exact fit actually the external form is a little bit large so you can decrease the size if you want or you can just leave it as it is okay so let me just decrease the size let me just leave this one for now and let's start this and let's see how it's actually look like so i will start as a project it's taking a little bit of time so 
so for this I will pass the username is bdate days right and the password is pass and here you can see this okay so we have to actually make this one little bit stretch so you can actually adjust the size a little bit like this there we go in the same way we have to do for this one too like this okay so now the size is perfectly fine and what we have to do is just adjust this one on the right side too okay after this what we have to do is if you think that you are not going to add this panel and just adding simply stuff to the this empty space so that's not going to work you have to add this panel so please add this one after this what we have observed that we have few stuff on the left side on this one we don't need to add anything over here we have to separately design each of these user control so first thing what we have to do is we have to add one picture box over here so picture box just drag and drop one picture box and I've already provided all the images and I can link in the description so just download that and start with me so just click on this import and select the image which I have used so I have used this one admin I've selected this click on open click on ok change this one from size mode to no normal to stretch mode and after this what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the size from this one so just click on this and copy the size and location as well location is 48 comma 18 just click on this 48 comma 18 and let me just set the size 183 or more 173 and here we go after this we need one label so let me drag one label over here just drag and drop one label just type administrator inside this one search for text change this one to administrator hit enter change the text color there is a four color change this that one to white select this custom and white and after this we have to set the fonts for that let me move back over here click on this and font is calibri size is 24 and bold calibri bold and 24 so move back over here click on this select this bold and size is 24 hit ok and just place this below this one like this after this what we have to do is we have to add few buttons over here so let me just drag few buttons so i'm going to drag this kuna 2 button so just drag and drop it over here just drag like this i want to be this one to be attached with this one like this okay so next thing what we have to do is we have to first change few properties of this button okay and before that let me just change the text so move back over here and let me select the font for this one century gothic and size is 12 okay click on this move back over here search for font size is regular and size is 12 and hit ok and first thing what we have to do is we have to change the text for this one so let me actually add few buttons actually we need five so let me copy the five times this one and place this on the proper position like this one four and one more that is five we have to adjust the space between these with the help of keyboard and now everything is looking fine now what we have to do is we have to change the text for these one buttons so first button is nothing but search for text this one over here so change this one to dashboard The second one is add user 
third one is view user fourth one is where it goes okay so here we go fourth one is profile and finally this one to log out after this what we have to do is we have to add icons and make these text box little bit fancy so for that just click on this and first let me start with adding the icons to all of these so search for image and the properties of this one so there we go so like this local resources click on import and search for dashboard where it is this one open ok and increase the size to 40 comma 40 okay so this one is quite large so change this one to 30 comma 30 yeah this one is better after this change add the image to this one so select go to properties and select the image just click on this local resources and click on import this one is over here add user okay and the user is added now 30 comma 30 for this one too the same way we have to do for this one select image click on this select local resources click on import and we have to search for view so where it goes yeah this one open ok and change the size to 30 comma 30 and finally we have profile image just click on this local resources and click on import search for profile okay so we don't have that icon okay this one is user no so we have to use which one let me yeah here we go this one click on ok and here it's added and i'm going to change this one to 30 comma 30 if i make this yeah this one is quite large so change this one to 25 comma 25 and finally we'll have logout so just click on this and boot and just search for logout this one click on open okay increase the size and this one is looking better after this what we have to do is we have to make this button work in a proper manner so first thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to just going to change the back color to 64 comma 64 fill color to 64 comma 64 comma 64 that is the color code this hit enter and here you can see this now the button color is changed after this let me just start this and let me see if these buttons work properly or not as we have expected as i have shown in the overview video so it's speed eight days and it's pass sign in and here you can see this when i click on this this needs to be turned into the white color and this one is not working in that way if you like like this then you can just leave it as it is or if you want it to be white when you click this so for that you have to just make few changes with this button so just to close this all and what you have to do is you have to just select all the buttons at the same time and you have to change one thing that is nothing but search for button mode just click on this and select radio buttons it means that only one can be selected at a time after this what you have to do is you have to change one more property that is checked state just click on this what i want is when this one is checked the color needs to be fill color needs to be white so just click on this select white and whatever text written inside this one that is the fault color needs to be in the black so search for this click on this fault color select the black now start this and let's check if this works as expected or not so this one is vtech days and the password is pass just sign in and click on this and here you can see this this one is working fine and one more thing we have to add a label over here with the name of user name okay and we need to make this logout functional so let me do that so first what we have to do is we have to add one label over here so search for label just drag and drop it over here down a little bit and here change the for color text to yellow and this one name for this one is username 
change this one to user name and make the font large or you can just let me write pdgs over here and let me just make this font large so let me copy the font size over from here so just click on this it's calibri 18 pg just click on this search for font and here we go and what we have to do is we have to make this button function so first i'm going to change the design name for this button only for this button actually so change this one to bdn log out and just double click on this to generate a click event for this one just double click on this and this will generate a click event of logout bdn logout click event is now generated and here what we have to do is i want to actually log out it means that we have to move to the login form so login form name is nothing but form one because that's from the default so form one fm you can name fm anything whatever you want feel like so new form one and fm dot show and once this one is shown i want to hide this administrator design okay so for that you have to just write this dot hide now start this and let's check if that works or not we take this and this one is pass sign in and here you can see this everything is working fine and now when i click on logout yeah this works So the designing part for this administrator dashboard is done. So that's it for this video guys. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to actually design for the dashboard and how to back and code for that. So just stay tuned, subscribe and share with your friends and to purchase the source code, just contact me on Instagram. Thanks for watching.